we thought we were going to end up third, Krep said, we actually didn't even think we were going to get to the final three, Demir said. Sophie asked us, what are you going to do with the money, and we looked at each other with blank spaces because we'd never even thought about it, their shock at winning might not be a surprise to regular viewers of the show. Krep and Demir were definitely not Australia's favorite couple in the beginning after a controversial start to their relationship. In the first few days of the show, they'd coupled up with other people, but they soon decided, during whispered chats on the day bed outside the villa, that they actually wanted to be together. Grant Krep and Taylor Demir actually found love on Love Island. Photo, Channel 9 Crap became the resident bad boy when he lied to his partner Cassidy McGill about his feelings for Demir, saying she was the one instigating the romance, when in reality it was the other way around. Crap copped a lot of heat from Mossy viewers at home, but, of course being locked away in a Spanish villa, the couple didn't know exactly how they were being received, after week one, I literally thought I was the most hated person in Australia, Demir said. We thought we were going to get ripped new ones when we left here, but we just had to put that out of our minds and make sure we were really true to ourselves, no matter what, I think hopefully Australia can see who we are and that we did do it for a reason. We were following our hearts, crap echoed Demir's words. My biggest regret is accusing Taylor of saying, she wanted to kiss me, first, he said. It looked bad, that was definitely my biggest regret. A massive F, up from me, and I regret it, Eden Daly and Aaron Barnett narrowly missed out on winning $50,000. Photo, Channel 9 After their tumultuous first week in the show, Crap and Demir settled in and became inseparable. Their genuine love for each other started to win fans over, while on the other hand, their strongest competitors, Daly and Barnett, were losing grip on the fan favorites title they'd been holding, thanks to a few big blow-ups. Are there hard feelings between the couples now that one is $50,000 richer and the other is not? Demir says no, I think it might have been a little shock to the system for them, it was a shock to the system for us. But I went over to them straight away and Grant followed me, and we all congratulated each other, Demir said. There was no hater backlash, it was really nice, after Crap and Demir's win was announced, Demir had one last decision to make, split the $50,000 prize she held in her hand with Crap, or keep it all for herself. She chose to split, she says it was, an easy decision, and the pair has big plans for their newfound riches. Moving to Sydney, Crap and Demir will leave their home states to start their lives together. Channel 9 with Demir hailing from Queensland and Crap living in Canberra, they've decided to relocate to Sydney, to start their new lives together. Demir is going to use her portion of the prize money to set herself up in a new city, while Crap is giving at least half to a close friend who recently suffered a bad accident and has a growing medical bill. It's clear the money is simply an unexpected bonus to the loved-up couple, they finish each other's sentences often, and say, multiple times, that they weren't on the show for the money, even before the final, I believed that I won, Crap says. I won Love Island because I found Taylor and that's the reason I came on the show.